the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Amen, Pastor Michael. The Lord has spoken with me this night. The Lord Jehovah, he has spoken with me this night. And I would like your listeners world over, your global listenership, to get to know that the Lord, he has spoken again. He has spoken with the nations of the earth. The Lord Jehovah has spoken to the four ends of the earth this night, this past night, the night that is ending East African time on this side. And uh, in that conversation, the everlasting God, Jehovah El Olam, he who is the Lord of hosts, Jehovah Sabaoth, Jehovah Eloheka, the Lord thy God, Jehovah Mekadishken, the Lord our sanctifier, he spoke with me this night the mighty God of Israel, the creator of Jerusalem, the Lord, he that has chosen Jerusalem, he has spoken with me about events about to befall the earth. And in this mighty conversation, the Lord took me across the earth to different nations, and I was ministering in those nations, in Latin America, in the United States, in Canada, in Africa, Asia, Australia, Europe, New Zealand, the islands, and as I ministered the message that is preparing the way for the glorious coming of the Messiah, I saw that I was walking. I saw myself walking on a long straight road. There was a road that was being made as I walked in front of me. The long road was being prepared. It was being made. It was very long road, and it was going all over the earth. Again, as I walked a road was being prepared ahead of me. It was a long straight road that spanned the whole earth. And then, as I ministered at a certain place, announcing the glorious coming of the Messiah, the Lord's Christ, the Christ of our Lord Jesus, the Messiah, the Christ who is our Lord Jesus, and the Messiah that is coming for the church. And I was ministering about the Lord's Christ, Jehovah's Christ, the Messiah, that is coming for a glorious church. And then at the same time, there were TVs. The Lord showed me TV, TV, different televisions that were broadcasting false prophets. Several TVs across the globe were broadcasting false prophets as I was ministering to the entire earth about the holy coming of the Messiah, the Lord's Christ, the Redeemer, the return of Jesus of Nazareth. And as I ministered this, there were several TVs that were showing several false prophets across the globe and they were ministering the false message that has now deluded the church at this hour. The message that has held the church ransom at ransom and stopped, refused the church from preparing in a holy way and in a righteous way for the glorious coming of the Messiah. And so at that time, as I ministered, and the false prophets were ministering across the globe on television. Then the heaven spoke the voice of the Lord, Jehovah El Gibor, the mighty God, Jehovah El Olam, Jehovah Rohi, Jehovah Sabaoth, Jehovah Hoseinu, the Lord our Maker, Jehovah Elohim, the creator of all men and the universe. His voice then spoke from heaven with great anger, and he said, no two prophets can minister at the same time. Again, then the tremendous fearful voice of the Lord spoke from heaven saying, No two prophets can minister at the same time. And then after that, I saw the tremendous judgment of the Lord coming from heaven. And then before the judgment hit the earth, the wrath of God, the fearful wrath of God, before it hit the earth, the voice spoke a second time and said, one of the voices must be a false prophet. Then I saw the wrath of God touch the earth and destroy the false prophets across the entire earth, across every nation on the face of the earth. Again, this first night, the Lord has indeed asked me to stand before the nation and to stand before the heavenly host and decree his tremendous wrath and fearful judgment that is coming to destroy the false prophets on the face of the earth. That the church may be set free. The false prophets all over North America, United States of America and Canada, all the way to Alaska, the false prophets in Central America, the Latin world to South America, 
the false prophets in the islands across the earth, the false prophets in Nigeria, beginning with Nigeria, the false prophet central, the central that is churning out false prophets across the earth and deluding the entire of southern Africa, all the way across the continent of Africa, the false prophets in Australia, New Zealand, in Asia, and also in Europe. The Lord has asked me to stand before him this morning and before the nations of the earth and decree that his final wrath is finally coming to the false prophets that they may set free his people, the church, that the church may now worship him and prepare for the glorious coming of the Messiah. I have seen the wrath of God disseminate, destroy, and incinerate all the false prophets across the earth. This is what is coming to the church. The Messiah is coming, and the glorious bride of Christ, the innocent bride, must now be set free that she may prepare for her Creator, the Messiah, the Lord Christ. He is coming, the Jesus of Nazareth, the Redeemer, the Redeemer of the church. He is now coming for a holy, glorious church. And the Lord is going to destroy the false prophets today, beginning today on. Those who have ears, may they fear and prepare in holiness and turn away from sexual immorality in the church, turn away from the love of money in the church, turn away from the gospel of prosperity in the church, turn away from the witchcraft in the church, turn away from the preachers who are preaching a lot of immorality. Turn away from all kinds of vile practice in the house of the Lord. The Lord of the house is now coming. And it shall be known that the voice of the Lord has indeed spoken to the nations of the earth. Shalom.